So I am here with my friend Tara. Uh, we just finished coming out of having a good meal. And Tara, you have been involved with the homeless ministry for a couple of years now, right? Correct. You've been kind of our unofficial cook. Yes. You're the one that comes up with all the beautiful meals that we serve the homeless. Um, but you have a very beautiful testimony. Now, we've known each other for a couple of years now, right? Right. Um, and your testimony is you are a foster parent, correct? Correct. And how long have you been doing that? I've been fostering for eight years. And, um, well, actually, this will be my ninth year for fostering. And how many children do you currently have? I currently have a total of eight, but I, I have a, a total of four fosters. Okay. And um, right now you're fostering out of your own house, right? Yes. yes. And um, I've met some of your little foster children. You bring them out when we feed. And they seem to really enjoy interacting with the homeless, right? Yes, ma'am. And they're actually very helpful. They help us hand out some of the food that we give. Mm -hmm. Yes. What I want to know, Tara, is what does it feel like? Because you've had some of these children with you for a number of years. Yes. Now, has there uh, ever come a time when you had some of your children removed or uh, they went on to get adopted or yes and um, what did that feel like it, it's um I, my purpose when i got into fostering was to be a bridge i was a bridge for a troubled youth or a baby um until they got to a stable place i never got into fostering to adopt Sometimes I wanted to because they're, they've become my babies. They've stayed for two or three years, and they've become like my babies, my own babies. So I wanted to adopt, but I had to remember why I felt like Jesus put me in a certain spot, and he put me to put me there to be a bridge from their troubled life to a happier, more calm life, a life that children should have. And this is my... Fifth, no, this is my sixth sibling group. And I like to take sibling groups because I like to keep them together because I was the only child. And I could just imagine how it would be to have siblings and then be uh, parted. You know, we'd have to go our separate ways after being together for five, six, ten years as siblings. So I always take sibling groups because I, I try to keep them together. And you get your children uh, through the government? The government places them in your care, or how I, does that work? I go through a private agency. Okay. And the only reason why I chose a private agency is because, first of all, it's a Christian private agency, but they they just take so much care of you, and they're they're more thorough, and they're not just bringing kids and dropping them at your house, saying, you know, take care of these babies. Uh, they, they take better care of you and the kids as a family, as a whole. And um, once the children leave, those that do leave, do you ever hear back from them? I do. I do. I have a, a sibling group that moved to, they moved out of, out of Ohio. And they, every year they send me, on their birthdays, uh, they're, by lot, well, no, I'm sorry, their adoptive mom and dad make sure that they send me pictures. At Christmas, I get pictures. Uh, I get phone calls on my birthday and just whenever they can. They always keep in touch. And they're, my very first group, I'll never forget them, but there were three brothers. And um, just about six, seven months ago, I got a letter from one of, he, I guess he's not on social media, but he sent me a letter. He actually remembered my address and sent a letter. How old is he? He is, he'll be 17, I think in February. My goodness sake. I was saying that I've met some of your little babies Yes. and they're so well behaved. And that's something you teach them, right? Absolutely. 
Um, it's a work in progress. They're, they're kids. They teach me and I teach them. But uh, that's probably one of the reasons why, like little people are so smart. They're actually little people. They're, they're, you know, they have their own thoughts and, but they, they're attentive. And all you have to do is, it's not, I'm not trying to make it sound like it's super simple because it, it is work raising a child, but you got to constantly pour knowledge into them. Luckily, um, you have family that kind of helps you, right? Yeah, big support. Okay. Now, have you ever had any difficult children that you took in and um we have we've had a couple with behavioral problems but you just have to it's, it takes tenacity you have to stick in there i've never sent anybody back uh-huh we we just stick in there and work with them best we can and i've had a lot of furniture in the last 10 years yeah oh, <laughs> i've yeah. done a lot of painting in the last 10 years but i've been blessed so it it, it all works out now tell me, uh, Thanksgiving uh, is coming up, and um, by the time this video goes up, th Thanksgiving will have been over. Uh -huh. um, what do you plan to do for Thanksgiving with your babies? We uh, we already have our cutouts. Well, we're going to cook a major dinner. We always do. I call it a major dinner because my babies eat. Yeah. They really eat. And um, my family comes. And I have a, a couple of my children coming from out of town. So we'll I have my cutouts ready. We have we we paint. We have a, a bowling uh thing that we set up downstairs. We bowl, we paint, we color, they have their pictures ready. So we'll just we'll just have a we'll be around the house. We won't leave on Thanksgiving Day, but we have movies set up. Just do a lot together. That's the main thing. We're together. I imagine that your house it's always full of laughter then, right? Yes. With the children? Yes, oh. it is. Laughter, sometimes tears, but tears, uh, they help us grow. Now, have any of the children ever cried when they were uh, taken away uh, through adoption? or? Most, most, most of the time in the groups that I've had, they, they're happy to, to go because they, they know that they're going somewhere stable, but they're sad that they have to go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we, we get a couple of the older kids. And like I had, the last sibling group, I had a baby. When uh, the baby came to me, she was a year old. And when she left, she was four. So she Four was, years old? She was four years old. So she was my baby. And all she knew was me. So oh. now she doesn't remember me. <laughs> She's like seven. Is, now, what's the youngest you've had? She she was the youngest. Oh. She turned two, maybe two days after she came to me. So she was actually one when she came. And the oldest that you've had? Um, twelve. Yeah, twelve years old. You are an amazing woman. Oh, thank you, Tara. I've told you this before, and I've been wanting to do a video on you because you're such an inspiration. Thank to you. me, and I think you'll be an inspiration to others that watch this video. Um, you're such a giving and loving person. Thank you. You don't just love the homeless. You love your babies. Yes. I don't know if there's anyone you don't love, Tara. <laughs> I, I don't have any. I don't meet any strangers. So I don't. I don't I love everybody cuz that's what God told us to do. So I do love everybody. I don't really have a problem with with anyone. I don't. I did as a child, but I was growing up learning. So now that I'm here and I know where my strength comes from and my blessings come from, I I try not to make enemies at all. And you were sharing with me uh during lunch that you also have a special needs uh child right yes and that must take a lot of time and energy absolutely um he's he's uh, he's pretty self-sufficient he does does well on his own but we had to get to that point mm -hmm. and it did take a lot of time it did take a lot of my uh my energy and you know but we made it through and he's a great kid 
he's a great kid. And he's working, you said. He does. He works. He has a part-time job. That's wonderful. Absolutely. And then you also shared me, with me some wonderful news that you started your nonprofit, right? Yes, ma'am. And um, when did you get uh, your nonprofit status? We had, we've had it about a year now. Uh -huh. So we're we're still you know working to get, um, but I mean, we're we're pretty good though with it now. We we've gotten um, lots of lots of items uh, given to us. So we're we're trying to get um, where we don't need anything else. We could just open right away and you know do what do what we do, which is take care of babies. And you also shared with me that God blessed you with a building. He did. <laughs> My goodness, that's showing you God's favor right there, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. His hand is all over this ministry, right? That's why I love him. <laughs> <laughs> and I was able today um, to bless you with a couple of things. Uh, I have some clothes for your babies. Uh, you're going to be taking some turkeys with you um, that you plan to share with your babies, your family. But you're also going to be cooking for our next homeless feeding, right? That's right. And you're going to be making turkey, right? We have turkey and ham and all the sides, greens, green beans, corn, mashed potatoes. We have all the sides. <laughs> Tara, I just want you to know, um, lastly, that I appreciate you very much. Thank you. Because you came to this ministry at the perfect time. I was sharing with you that when you started coming to help us feed, mm -hmm. our cook at the time had gotten sick. And so because of it, she couldn't come out as often and then God sent you and you came not empty handed but you came with a ton of food and I'm just so thankful thank you so much for having us I mean you're a blessing to us because we wanted to do something like this and and here you were <laughs> waiting for us and you know having having a need for a cook so we're here and we're being a blessing to someone else, all of us. Now, any last words? What do you want people to know about God? I want people to know that God is the light. We are a reflection of his light. He lets his light shine, so we should let our light shine all the time. Do Always do your best. Put your best foot forward and love one another. Mm -hmm. That's all we can do is love one another. You would be surprised. Just a little bit of love goes a long way. Amen. All right. Thank you, Tara, for sharing your testimony yes, and being the wonderful person that you are. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.